In this video, I'm going to show you how to modify the configuration file for installing this WordPress script. So here I have the location where I downloaded and unzipped all the files before I uploaded them. Inside of WordPress is already a, a sample config file, wp-config-sample.php. Here's how you modify this. If you right click on it, you can say edit with or, or open with. Now I'm going to open it with notepad. Now my notepad may look a little bit different than your notepad does. It's just a normal text editor like it, notepad, standard. Here's the config file. Now you have to modify certain things in this, like the database name. So we named our database demo, but it's the username underscore demo. So the database name that we had was, that was the database name. The username was also the exact same thing. The password, I'll do that in a minute so you don't see my, oh, no, the password I put in demo actually. Demo, that was our password. The host name, you should almost never have to change this. Uh, unless you're doing something special, you should not change that. So then we're going to look for anything else that we think we might need to change. Now with this, <clears throat> you may want to go to WordPress and define these things. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't think we need to. We don't need to change the prefix. And it looks like that's pretty much it. That's all we need to change. Now there will be instructions with what you need to change. I, I just happen to know what I need to change because I've been through this. So uh, you should read the instructions for what you need to change. So now that I've changed it all, I'm going to save this. Now we need to save this as wp-config and this is for WordPress. So I'm going to do file save as and we're not going to do it as dash sample, we're just going to do it wp-config.php inside of the same WordPress directory. Save. <clears throat> now if we go back to our FTP program, you can see I'm still connected to the server and here I'm in that same directory still. Let's see if we can find the wp-config file. It doesn't look like it's there. So now it looks like we need to click refresh on this side and hopefully it'll show up for us. So after hitting refresh, scroll down and see if we can find it. Oh, there it is. There's our new config file. We're going to drag that over onto the server side. Now this tells <coughs> the script how to communicate with the database. So it's basically hooking up the database with the script. Now that we've installed it, I'm just going to visit the site where we just installed this and I'll do that in the next video.